Hey everyone, it's Steve Harris from Usemes.com. Today I'm going to run through our new Twitter Feed Pro widget. This is a simple way for you to add a Twitter feed to your Adobe Muse website without having to add any code. You can simply drag the widget out onto the canvas and set a few options. So let's jump into Muse and open up the Muse Themes toolbox and let's drag the Twitter Feed Pro widget out on the canvas. Now Muse will try and generate a preview for it and you can see it's done quite a nice job. So let's preview this in the browser and I'll show you how it looks. So this is how the final widget looks and we can control things like the number of tweets we wanna show, even the color of our links. So let's go back to Muse and let's look at the options flyout for this widget. If we click on the blue options arrow, you can see that we can set the username here. So this is the user account for the Twitter feed that you actually want to follow or display. So let's just change this to something like CNN. And you can see right in Muse, it's updated the preview to match. Now we can also change the link color. This is just the color of links within the feed itself if you wanna do something a little bit more branded. Uh, we can also set the number of tweets. So we've got a minimum of five and a maximum of 20. So let's just set this to eight. And Muse again is going to try and regenerate a new preview. Now I found that if you do this enough times, eventually you'll need to start previewing it in the browser because it can't always do it directly in Muse. So if I preview this one in the browser, you can see how much longer it is. This is with the eight tweets. Okay, next we have a couple of different options for hiding elements of this feed. So we can set the background to transparent. You might wanna use that if you've got textures in the background of your Muse site and you want the Twitter feed to kind of blend in a little bit. We also have the option to hide the header. And if we click that, I'll show you what it means. Basically it just removes this tweet and follow button there. So you can see it's generated a new preview without those buttons. We can also hide the footer. And if we scroll down to the footer, it's this tweet to CNN box and it's disappeared now. So that's controlled on the flyout. And lastly, we can choose to hide a scroll bar. Now that's if you've extended the widget so that your eight tweets does not fit within it, you'll end up getting a scroll bar and you can choose to hide that if you wish. The last thing is we have a couple of theme colors. So we have a dark version. This is the version you're seeing on the page right now where it's kind of gray. And if we change that to light, we get a nice white background and this might blend in a little bit better on kind of sites that have more white space. And of course, if you need more help, click on the terms of use button as with all our widgets and you can click here to view our full usage instructions. So that's it, that's the Twitter Feed Pro widget. And let me preview this in the browser one last time to show you how it looks. That's it, enjoy. We hope this helps you embed Twitter in your site a little bit faster and cleaner and let us know if you have any trouble. Cheers.